Hi everyone, uh, I'm here again with one more tutorial uh, in Carlos, uh, Carlos Sosa Custom Board's uh, workshop and today I'm going to talk about the base position yeah? uh, Remember every board and every set is different also every ride is different and has a different position on a board that com uh, so uh, I will give you a few tips that I can help you to uh, adjust uh, your base position on the board considering the, your sail and your board. I recommend you to, uh, to start placing the, the base in, in the center of the mass track yeah? and from here moving it, moving it a bit to the front or to the back to adjust it to your needs. Move it little by little, two to five millimeters, it makes a big difference in a board. If you move the, the, the base forward, uh, it will drop the nose of the board so the board will be flatter and uh, consequently we will have more control especially when it's we have really strong winds also for, for those people uh, who, who find uh, hard to get planing to move and, and they move all his body to the back pulling the sail with them moving it a bit forward it can help them uh, to get a faster and easier planing Finally, uh, we will have a wider and longer turns if we move the mass base to the front. On the other hand, if we move the, the, the base a bit more to the back, the board will leave, with the nose of the board will leave up. So we will have less superficies in the water, less friction, we will have more speed. And also you can feel like the board is a bit more active and it has a shorter and a, and a closer turns. So these ones are the basic ideas about how to move the base with the base to the front or base to the back and how it uh, changed the board position. But there are exceptions, and, uh, and I think it's sometimes uh, there are boards that have a lot of curve on the rocker line in between the entry and the front strap. So um, it can, and what it can happen is uh, you can feel the board jumping uh, and falling from the nose to the tail, jumping one side to the other one, and, and get a lot of this control and. Um, a movement falling from here to here and then from one side to the other one <clears throat> so uh, if we have if that's the case the 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 concept would be okay if I move the mast track the mast base to the front I will have more control but the thing is you will may, maybe you will feel too much pressure on the entry and the, it will be hard to get planing and also we feel like the board is more uh, slow so if that's the case you have a board with that uh, curve in between the entry and the front strap you must move the mass base to the back to leave the nose up and to have less superficies less friction in this part which is we have the curve so the board will go here and you will have less superficies in the water the board will fall less on the nose and uh, you will have more control yeah so remember mass to the front board more flat mass to the back less superficies in the water but we need to consider every board every sail and every rider if you have any question if you have um, any doubts about how to adjust it if you have problems to do it at home uh, when you go sailing just contact me let me know and if i can i can help you uh, maybe you can see your videos uh, watch your videos and, um, and try to adjust your equipment sometimes it's a super simple simple things and uh, i'd like to help you so uh, yeah i hope you like it and see you in the next one